Angeles. And then what would you do second, and then what would you do third? <laughs> I will say that I think that there is a tremendous political advantage in moving quickly on pilot programs. Out of the 8.4 million New Yorkers, it turned out there were 8.4 million traffic engineers. It turned out, you know, because everybody's got a very strong opinion. And so you can always find people that will oppose, you know, these new ideas. Everybody hates change. But when you do it and you try it out as an experiment, it's very hard to argue with. And so I really would encourage the city to, you know, experiment with some new public spaces, you know, experiment with some new bike lanes. Uh, hi, I'm a transportation planner. I work for the city of Burbank here in the Los Angeles area. Um, as a, a bureaucrat, essentially, how do you balance between the desire to be an advocate and the necessity of being an objective bureaucrat? You really have to have the political will in order to get things done. And we have an incredible mayor. I think we've got the best mayor uh, in the country, the mayor Bloomberg. And, and he set an agenda and a framework and a plan saying, we have to take a long-term view of where this city is going uh, in 25 years. So that, I think, setting a framework makes it much easier to innovate underneath that. So you're not wrestling with the advocate versus the bureaucrat. You know, you've got a longer term view, which allows you some flexibility to play within that envelope and try some, some different ideas. I'm also working with a really great, dedicated group of people. We, we have a great team in New York City DOT. I lived in Los Angeles for 10 years, and the number of times that I've heard someone tell me that I don't understand the problems that this city faces. And so when I look at what you've done in, in New York, I'm wondering, were you in the right place at the right time, or were there entrenched ideologies that you had to battle to get these changes made? How'd you do that? We really need to have, you know, a policy framework, and so that I think is really key. The public needs to know why you're doing what you're doing. What's the plan? You know, I mean, when you take a look at the national transportation policy, we haven't had a national transportation policy in 50 years. Our national transportation policy is basically to build the interstate system. We built it. Check. <laughs> We need a new one, you know? And similarly with cities, you need to have a vision of where you're going to go. And if you don't have that vision, you're never going to get there. I, again, I just really want to thank you for the uh, opportunity to come uh, join me tonight. Thank you.